the entire tune is my exact sensibilities the entire time. Okay, so your name is Teddy. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Is this this is actually Shelly right here? I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. This is if if Shelly were a Pokemon trainer. Okay, uh, what is? It just says powers up. That's good enough for me. It's not like it's gonna matter. We're just gonna annihilate anybody, everybody anyway. <gasps> Buneary! Am I allowed to catch Pokemon like this? I don't think I am. Am I? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's enjoying so far. This is very, very, very nice. I'm really glad it is. Yeah, now that there's one on the field, of course it'll work. Am I about to accidentally get a Badoo? Sensitive to changing temperature, the bud is said to bloom when it feels the sun's warm touch. Well, you're about to meet the sun right now. It's your lucky day. What's cool, you might ask? No! I was <laughs> just imagining uh, <laughs> this, this person coming up to her, uh, coming up to Teddy saying, What's cool, you ask? And Teddy says, No. She would be thinking that in her head, but, you know. I love this character's design. Cheryl. Kingslayer says, I didn't like moss at first, then it grew on me. I've heard that one so many times before, and it still, it still kind of got me. Oh my god, Celine timed out Kingslayer for 600 seconds. Okay, there you go. They removed the timeout. <laughs> wow. The chance she's just kind of leaving a pile of bodies in her wake. Farts learn spark! Let's go! Thank you, Chansey! Let's go, Cheryl! Why are you attacking me? Clearly, this Chansey is the actual threat! Look at this! Okay, maybe not. It, it's alright, it's alright, Celine. I did the same thing, actually. Um, I accidentally banned somebody. It was somebody who had just shown up for the first time, and I was trying to ban one of those BUY FOLLOWERS NOW AT EATMYASS.COM! And just at that exact moment, the chat uh, switched, then I banned them instead. <laughs> Please stop targeting the farts! This is the first time that I felt tension in a Pokemon battle this entire playthrough. This is my first time using a potion in this entire playthrough. By the way, I have no idea what searching eatmyass.com will, will yield, but I think I should recommend not to do that. Uh, but Luxray is, is uh, Liberty's favorite Pokemon. I think I have to get them to a, the Luxray stage. Let's, let's evolve, farts. Even with a crit, it's, it just doesn't even matter, dude. <clears throat> Congratulations, your farts evolved into Luxio. A light scratch causes fainting in foes. I think that is just outright misinformation, but okay. I love Cheryl. Why is this the only time that we see her? Anyway, I'm about to battle without you again. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay. I prefer it doesn't crit. I was gonna say, but if mine does, I would be very happy. The old chateau. There should be none alive in it. I will make sure of it. Two Baneeries? Okay, so I should have a chance to catch one here. Again, both of them are male. Can you throw a Pokeball with two Pokemon on the opposite side of the field? That's what I thought. Damn it. Just, okay, now I actually do want you to take one of them out, please. <sighs> Thank you. Cherish Ball. Wh That'll have to wait. Oh, Quill says if you find a Comey, you need to name it Comeboys. Yep, okay, Comeboy. You're so right. You're so right. Okay, Cheryl. Could you please let me catch this one? It's another boy, by the way. That's four boy Buneeries. Four boy Neeries. Could you get in the frickin' ball, please? Um, this will actually work better because I'm in a forest area, won't it? And it's it's night, okay. Send. Thank you. They can be forcefully extended to shatter even a large boulder. Sounds like a good Friday night. Oh! Action movie poster. That's the fifth straight male Buneary. I haven't seen a female yet. They're half and half, where I've, I've just gotten the same coin flip five times in a row. Farts is already almost at Apollo's level now. Oh, Burmy. Don't Burmy me! Oh, poor Cascoon. 
It's just like playing Melee against Red last month. <laughs> it's exactly how it felt, but it was amazing. And I'm sure that this experience welcomed for the Cascoon. Everyone is so much freaking weaker than Apollo. It's, it's harrowing. Farts wants to bite! Farts wants to bite! Me when I eat Taco Bell, yeah. It's a differently colored Burmy. Beautiful. I want to eat it! It looks like cotton candy! <laughs> There's a Pokemon ability named Swarm. Okay, thanks, buddy. Man, look at farts go. That Luxio icon looks amazing in the Pokewalker, actually. And then there's Apollo. This forest is strange, you know. It seems to... fill me. Farts is the same level as Apollo, so Farts is about to be the first to breach level 20. After, like, 40 minutes ago, Apollo being the only one that was doing anything up to this point. I think this is the end, isn't it? We're gonna have to say goodbye to one of my favorite incidental characters in the entire franchise. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. Oh yeah, this takes me right back to the entrance. Oh, okay. And probably an item. Or a trainer or two. Wow, this is gonna be a gauntlet, isn't it? I kinda wanna wait until I have one of the Pokémon that I wanna train up. Even though obviously, farts would just bulldoze everybody here. This is Gen 4, which means you have to wait longer than you would in real life. Is this shit normal? In Gen 3, I would have seen seven Pokemon by now! God! <laughs> this is normal. It was, it was a magic carp. okay. Get him, farts. This looks suspicious. I found a guard sp- <laughs> Witness says, when the soil is described as soft and earthy, it makes me think of crumchy textured ice cream and I want to eat some. <laughs> Don't eat soil. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Trainer! Uh, it's okay, never mind, you look tough. I, I won't- I, I, I won't ask you out. I'll just let you keep your- Carry on! My friend said Team Galactic took his favorite Pokémon away. I don't think he's telling the truth. Team Galactic looks so cool. And here we have someone erring on the opposite side. Balance, people! I'm glad you appreciate the way they look, but... Is anybody in the Sinnoh region even remotely logical? I will give you that. Hey, Daddy! You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there! Ho -ho! I am gonna slow down their speaking because... Voice acting. Here's Shadow the Hedgehog. There we go. <clears throat> so... This is a turn of puck. This... God damn it. Let's... Let's... Again from the top. Okay, sorry. Let's... Let's redo that one. <clears throat> so... This is Eterna's Pokemon statue. <laughs> Shaping our world, our time and space, in an intertwining spiral. Sinnoh's myth, its truth, needs investigation. Pardon me. Stand aside. Move. Chaos Control! Oh, <laughs> oh hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me! An easy way to become a great trainer! Yeah, that! All right, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit! Oh, avoid enemy attacks for sure! You do that, you'd never lose! You'd be the invincible trainer! Oh, oh. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue! See you around! Oh. I really appreciate that he 100% ignored what just happened. Don't get hit. It's, it's, it's what Isaiah said in Melee. Don't get hit. It's Eterna City's Pokémon statue. There seems to have been a descriptive plate, but it appears it was torn off. You okay, kid? What are you looking at? Seems to be a fence and a rock. They say this is an awesome Pokémon that people saw long ago. Why aren't you standing here? You there, kid! Stay away from that Pokémon statue! Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here! Well, again... Why don't you stop me? 
I, I, I'm, I'm walking very slowly. Oh man, I, I'm gonna get close to that statue. Oh man, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be so inconvenient to your investigation if I just got like, like, ooh man. Oh, I'm all over this thing. Oh my God. Do you see, are you seeing this shit? Oh my God, I'm like right on top of it. Anyway, I didn't have a second layer to that bit, unfortunately. The Friendship Checker app identifies the Pokemon that like you. God damn it. A turn it came to be long ago in honor of ancient Pokemon. Though many things have changed, what is important has not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. It was everybody as horny as they are now back then. Sheesh! <laughs> Someone ripped off the descriptive plate from the Pokemon statue. The second inscription went sort of like this. Birth of Pal. NTSC. Creator of parallel dimensions. Alive, yet not alive. Rifts in space. It's snowing on Mount Fuji. I've heard some people talk about there once being a third inscription. I'm kind of skeptical, though. I mean, think about it. Three objects? Ha! <laughs> A third Pokémon alongside those that control time and space? There couldn't possibly be a Pokémon that mighty. Have you seen the Pokémon statue? Oh, you bet! You- you have no idea! Have you seen that thing up close? I was so... seeing it? Man, you- it was wild. When I was a wee child, it used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. Okay, so everyone was that horny back then. Good to know. Thanks for answering my question. History living. I couldn't have said it better myself. Herbal meds work most impressively, but your Pokémon won't like them. They're horribly bitter and smelly. Someone ought to invent herbal medicine that isn't bitter. That would be a medical breakthrough. I need to do more old lady and old man voice. <clears throat> you don't look important at all. Oh, Cynthia voice. What am I going to do? I know exactly what she would sound like. She would, she would sound exactly like, um, what's her name? The Gerudo from, um, Breath of the Wild. She would, she would sound exactly like that, I think. I haven't heard her voice in the anime, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was that exact voice. If, like, if they're the same actress, don't tell me they are. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, uh, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? Oh, you wouldn't believe the things that I have seen on that statue. Oh, man! Oh, yeah. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Rad, rickshaw, cycle shop, get on and ride. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Death, maybe? I don't know, it's Team Galactic. He's probably fine. They might be forcing him to work, unlike he's doing here, I bet. <laughs> Witness says the statue bit is never not funny. I'm glad you think- I am very pleased that it kept coming up. I, I thought it was just gonna be the one and done. Hello, Gardenia. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader. Me. Until the end. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't... Don't disappoint me. Can I get to Route 206 yet? Am I gonna be blocked off by annoying plot garbage? Under... Underground man's house. I have heard of him. Wait. Did that just say what I think it said? Okay. That's... That is what I... You know, intellectually my mind told me that that's what it had to have said. But I thought it said something else at first. Something more exciting. Uh, gotta check the trash. The underground is a different world! Where you can do this, that, and the other thing too! Not the other thing. Is there any access t I can't get there because of f***ing cut trees, can I? God damn it. I just wanna... Catch a Gligar! Never mind. We can... 211?!
I just really was trying to think of something to say to that child. Hello, Liberty. Welcome. I am leveling up farts just so I can get them to be a Luxray for you. If you survive, then you will, you're will. you coming with me. This is the perfect test. Nope. This looks suspicious. It's my first Great Ball. Let's go. I feel like I've seen Gligar appear here, too, though. Maybe not at night, though. See a doctor if your farts grow in level quickly. Yeah, I do intend to catch a Gligar and actually use it. I don't know if Glysaur is used in any uh, big battles by the uh, by the opposition. I know for sure that they don't in Heart Gold, and I don't tend to count the uh, the second visits of like the Elite Four in my weirdness. Hello, Teddy. Long time no see. Is it Lucas's dad? Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering. I don't think. It's like he just chose not to hear me. Teddy, let me ask you. How many Pokemon have you met? Oh my! Oh my. <clears throat> Learn how to shift gears and you'll be able to ride anywhere! See, like... I don't have the context for what you're talking about. Like, I can piece together what you're talking about, but... You're just looking at a young girl... Telling her, Learn how to shift gears and you'll be able to ride anywhere! Are you two okay? Has he- has he- did he do something to you? Okay, there could be Pokemon that I want to catch here. I'm gonna try and harbor hope. Oh, that's right! This entire thing started because I was gonna rename Sans into Flowey for Quillshot. I also haven't explored the con- oh wait, this- yeah, that's because that's where it is. You wouldn't expect the name writer to be in a tall building. Hello, hello, I'm the official name writer. Want me to name, rate, the nicknames of your Pokemon? Sorry, <laughs> I'm starting to get confused in my old age. Sans, is it? Never heard that one before. But would you like to give it an even better name? Oh good, then what shall the new nickname be? I'm sure it will not even remotely be related to Undertale. <sighs> Done. It is... Uh, uh, it's a fine name. <laughs> Excuse me, but you got that Pokemon named Buizel? Want to trade it for my Chatot, actually? But it's Tails. I'm going to catch another one. I can't trade Tails. <laughs> Don't look now, everybody, but it's another TV. Sino, no! This is it! The one you've all been waiting for! Is this one going to be interrupted by weather? It's time for Sino now! Your portal into what's hip and happening in Sino! Here's the first story on the cutting edge of Sinnoh Trends. For, for a moment, I genuinely believe that oh, there's just like something wrong with my game, but they really are just like that evil that they just, <laughs> this is just a part of the game. Uh oh, traffic jam. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, how the tables have turned. Look who's got who now. Next stop, Hearthome City. I'm taking the contest challenge. Hearthome is where I need to go. Let's go, baby. Badges from gyms or contest wins. There's more than just one way to be a winner, it seems. Here's hoping you'll find something in your life in which you can be the victor. What an asshole. <laughs> Bronzor. Liberty says Penny. Okay, I love that. Ha! See how Mount Corne towers above us! I wanna be- I just somehow keep being surprised. This is my fault at this point. What is the point of this shit? Why? Why, dude? Cornet? That's okay by me. 
Bird Keeper Alexandra, I didn't actually see what you said. I'm sorry that <laughs> her text was on the screen for a year and I didn't read it. There's a bird Pokemon that can learn human speech. Did you know that? That's a dangerous thing to tell a 10 year old. We just train the Chatot to say, Farts! 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 Yeah, now there's actually a point to healing because of Shelly. God, Shelly, get with the program. We had to go heal because of you because you're not goddamn invincible like the god that's sitting next to you. <gasps> oh. This is it. This is the Pokemon that I really wanted. This is the one I've been talking about that I have to get as our friend. This is her. Liberty says, Pokemon is wild. Imagine getting attacked by a literal bell. Don't crit, please. Let's go. <laughs> we have a Chimeco in the future. Chingling, the bell Pokemon. Look at the footprint. Ah! There is an orb inside its mouth. I think that's called a tongue. When it hops, the orb bounces all over and makes a ringing sound. Aw. Belly? Bell? Bell? Going pet scop in here? I'm, I'm sure that this is one of the most common Chingling slash Chimeco names in the entire world, but it, it does have a special meaning here because this is a unfiction land. I know I was thinking about Tiara, but that actually- Maybe I should- maybe it should be Tiara. It would make this a bit more unique and it would make the reference more solid, more solidified. Yeah, Liberty says, what a great team though. Apollo, Burb, Shelly, Farts, Bell slash Tiara, and Nipples the Rock! Let's try out Tiara for a while. I don't need to go back to the Pokemon Center, what are you doing? What if I gave you a... a, a this is gonna take a long time. Oh, but that helps. Yes, I'm so sorry, Chingling. Oh my god. That's gonna happen to me someday. No! <laughs> I, I appreciate the later gens when they, uh, via some colors, they show you which one is increased and which one's decreased. Liberty says, again with the weirdness that is Pokemon, this is a bell that can literally fall asleep. And th you know what makes me really freaking uncomfortable? Thinking about Spoink. If you're not aware, if Spoink does not spend every single moment of their lives bouncing, their heart stops. And so really what makes me uncomfortable is thinking about Spoink falling asleep but apparently they just bounce in their sleep. Uproar! Um, goodbye, rap. Kitty is coming in, so I'm gonna save right frickin' now and save state as well. I need cut to- Okay, I guess we're doing the gym. There he is. That's why I saved the state. You are a- You are a little bitch. You're such a bitch. You're a little bitch. Little bitch, yes. Talking to you, you are a freaking little bitch. But I love you so much. Welcome! Without further ado, let's go. Well then. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I want to try and challenge myself to do every gym in this game without making a trip to the Pokemon Center. And I really haven't been shopping for items, and I have a feeling that's gonna bite me in the ass here. But Apollo can always come to the rescue. That took a long time, by the way. But do! Uh, please don't kick my ass. I love this Pokemon. Fuck you. Another Badoo! Their first- her first Pokemon that she sent out was in the middle of her- How does she do that? Another Badoo! The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. Oh, that's depressing. This is something I've never done before, which is try and get through a gym as though it was the- as if it were the Elite Four. This is going so well. Oh my gosh, let's go, Tiara! Might as well lead with Chingling again. Um, actually, they're not holding anything, are they? Boom. Okay. I haven't been thinking about any strategy because I haven't had to! I, I know for a fact that if anything goes south at all, all I have to do is send in Apollo and win, so... You kept me waiting! <laughs> sorry, like, I, I actually did, I'm sorry. You have a winning aura about you. I, I think the winning aura is farts, by the way. Let's have our battle! You, you're just using a, a starter? <laughs> Oh, man. Too bad it's not a Bulbasaur, or else I would definitely have a type advantage. Um... It's just defense. Uh, that's fine. 
This is special attack. I thought about using Growl. This is risky. As long as Turtua doesn't crit, I have this. The odds are in my favor. Let's go. And I, I, that was enough! Cherim! The fact that you sent this out second would lead me to believe that you have something to beat Chingling. But you are Grass Poison, right? So here's what I'll do. I will scope things out. I will send out Farts so that Farts can have a piece of the action. And see what you would have used. And that lowers your attack! You're just gonna use Safeguard. Um... That was some juicy damage. Holy sh**. I don't want Farts to go down. Apollo, is this your first challenge? Maybe not. No, shit. Um, you're gonna heal. You're absolutely gonna heal. There's no way you won't. This blaze kick has to hit. Whoa, shit! Is this what it feels like? Is this what a challenge feels like? You're still gonna outspeed. Still, one blaze kick should do it, right? This just has to hit. That really made me think for a second, man. That threw me for a freaking loop. Welcome to thinking on your toes when plan A hits a snag. I guess, okay, um... We're still on Sunny- this- this is obviously the best play. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Apollo took offense to having been actually challenged. <laughs> wow. That was a flex. They put a little extra full 360 degrees of rotation into that kick. That was fun. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokémon to be so good? It actually really wasn't. With the Forest Badge, your Pokémon can use the hidden move cut outside of battle. Whee! Yeah! Obtain the Dim 86. That Dim 86 contains the move Grass Knot. It looked pretty nice. It's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the foe, the more damage this move will cause. Oh, so yeah, I wondered, I think that confirms my suspicions. So even though I changed the, um, the Pokedex value of Apollo's weight to 46 pounds, I think in-game, it's still Groudon's weight, which is like a ton, like a literal ton. I th I'm pretty sure the game thinks that Apollo weighs 2,000 pounds. It was packing a punch. Very interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm super happy that that was actually brought to my attention because I've been wondering that. So cosmetically, I changed Apollo's weight, but not actually in the game. Well done, Apollo. That was your first challenge. And you still just pressed A three times and won. <laughs> uh, well done, everybody. Amazing play session. We caught our best friend, Tiara. Really, really strengthened up our farts. Those are huge now. Uh, we took a good look at that statue, let me tell you. And we had a great battle with Gardenia. But that just goes to show you why I was trying to avoid giving Apollo experience so that we I could have actually tense and fun battles. This playthrough is turning into something special already, and I'm very, very pleased. Witnesses, I just realized I want to give Apollo poffins. This actually, I might end up teaching Tiara return because that would really take me back to one of my first Chimecos. A very, very special Chimeco to me. Um, I would sweep with return. As much as I kind of don't want to end because this has been that perfect, next time we will challenge the fearsome foes in Team Galactic and then we'll do some other things. Maybe catch a Gligar or something. I don't know. And on desktop, everything went much more smoothly. I wish all of you the very best that life has to offer. And I can't wait to see you all again. Uh, until then, have a beautiful one. Dream on, friends. Peace. Thank you so much. So much love. And take care.